Hello everyone and welcome to another Feed Army video. My name is Emmanuel and today we will be talking about what you need to do if your logo is rejected in Google Merchant Center. So there are several ways that you can go about this and it is actually quite difficult to get the logo approved but I'm going to show you a demonstration of what we did with several clients and that hopefully should allow you to see what you should do as well. The first important thing is that merchants tend to think that the logo that you have on your website, even if it's an official trademark logo, has to be identical on Google Merchant Center or they want it to be identical. So within Google Merchant Center, you don't have to think of, okay, it has to be identical. It just has to be a representation of your brand. So it can be a little bit different. So don't worry about the little details. It doesn't have to be a trademark logo. It can be anything in reality even a letter of your first brand name so if your brand name is Nike you can use the letter N so let's have a look at an example here so we can see that we have a logo and with text inside this is rejected because it doesn't allow to view the logo in a smaller size so if you minimize this to for example 50 pixels which is just like roughly the size of this hand of the um, cursor it will just be way too small to read rhinestone hq so what we did is i suggested well, create a simpler logo and that is what was done and this was also rejected which was actually quite surprising because i've done this before where we created a simpler logo the reason for rejection in this case was that it didn't match the branding on the website. So if we had this on the website, it would be approved, but that was not the case. So now what we did is we redesigned the logo without the text, but kept the background where the logo is intact. I thought first actually these stars would be rejected, but that is not the case. So make sure then also that your logo is a PNG file or an SVG file with a transparent background because that is very important and that will then allow your logo to be approved. And here was another uh, problem. So we have a logo here. Uh, it used to be a red one, a red brick and then Byron bricks on there and that was rejected. So it looked similar to this. So it looked like this and this was rejected. What we tried to do was then I suggested to the client to remove the branding by Ron Bricks. Uh, so it was just a brick icon and that was also rejected. So what we then did, because we assumed that it was a reflection on the logo, we vectorized the image. And here, look at that. It is approved. So just the logo itself. We even vectorized it with the brand here. So Byron Bricks on the sides of the uh, brick, but it was also rejected. And then here, of course, the rectangle one having just text, that is absolutely fine. So you can see there are lots of different scenarios where the logo just gets rejected. And there's no one simple way of knowing what exactly that Google is having issues with, because when they reject it, they just give you a template reply with what the reason is. And usually it is where when they, when you minimize your logo, it is unreadable. So the text itself. Another reason is obviously submitting a wrong size. For example, if you are submitting a square image, 1000 by 1000 pixels, and you accidentally submitted a 999, what, so 999 pixels by 1000, then that will get rejected. However, that usually gets rejected automatically from the get go. So there's no review process. Uh, so make sure you have 1000 by 1000 or lower but higher than 5000 by 5000 or you have an image for the rectangle size that is 1000 by 500 pixels so 500 high and 1000 wide or you can have 2000 uh, by 1000. Another reason for getting rejected is not having a transparent background. It is a requirement for the logo to be on a transparent background because they want to use the logo on different backgrounds. So add formats and that, then if you have, for example, a black square with your logo in, that will not be approved. So make sure it is a transparent background. Use PNG, SVG or WebP. Another issue is when you're using logos with a TM or an R or a C icon. 
So as you can see, there's a TM next to the Starbucks logo and that will be of course rejected. So make sure to remove the TM. Also make sure you don't include any .co.ltd uh, info on there. So just the brand name itself. And that's it for this uh, video. So make sure you try and test out, but don't try to uh, upload uh, images that you know are not valid or are speculative because um, there might be a limit of how many uh, images you can upload. I have never seen it before, but uh, I wouldn't be surprised if Google starts putting a limit on it because they have done that for misrepresentation. So if you have a misrepresentation suspension, then uh, there are only free reviews that you can ask. And before it was unlimited. So now as of I think three or four months ago, they've set the limit and you can only ask three times. And I believe that is to do with basically people asking too many requests for review and that uh, slows down the process for Google's team to uh, review everything. And of course, it's all about Google's uh, pocket and they want to reduce the time it requires for employees to check everything. So don't be surprised if this also happens with the branding. I wouldn't think it would happen, but there is a possible chance. So I would recommend avoid it and just submit a clean, correct logo from the get go. Uh, try to look at this video and, and avoid uh, the common pitfalls of a logo. And if you're in doubt, feel free to reach out. So that's it for today. Thank you very much for watching and I'll see you in the next one.